on, everybody? You're listening to another episode of Loud About Nothing. It's me, your boy, the hottest dude in the podcast game, Sebastian Canelli. And as always, we have the cute boy here himself, Robbie Boy. Robbie, say hello to the people. What's going on? What's going on? What's We've, going on? What's going on? We've received some constructive criticism on the podcast. We have received constructive criticism. We have received constructive criticism on the podcast. From who? Are you going to say? A, from a newspaper? No, no, no. From Trolls Online? Someone much more important. We have received deconstructive criticism from Trolls Online, I would say. But we've const- uh, received constructive criticism Correct. from probably the person that everyone I've dated has ever been scared of. Okay. The person that I only care about if they think I succeed. But they'll think I succeed no matter what I do. Okay. The Queen of Staten Island herself. The Queen of Staten Island. My mother. Yes. <laughs> my mother has given some constructive criticism on the podcast. Does she listen? I would imagine. You think she does? A little bit. You think she, she she's... At some point. Yeah. I don't know. I think a little bit. I don't know if she does. I don't know if she does. Maybe not full episodes. Maybe Definitely not. the clips. Definitely the clips. The constructive criticism was more about the clips. The, yes. And the criticism was... I need to show my sensitive side more. That was the constructive criticism. I need to be showing my vulnerability and be airing who I am. Yes. So I come to you today, podcast listeners, my hotties, with open arms, bare chested, ready to show my vulnerable self. Okay. You've done that. Please do not burn me. I think she was saying more like Please she said, do not burn this me, is what listeners. her constru- actually this is what her constructive criticism was, I would say. It was that you should you should seek a female perspective before posting some of the clips. Oh, yes. That, that was, was the a constructive one. criticism. Of course. I think that was the the main takeaway that I got. To seek a female perspective. Yes. Before, before we the post clip. the clips. Not a bad criticism. So we out here on ben- unbended knees, as the boys that became men once said. Yes. They said, Wait. please, <laughs> please. No, we can't open this up to people. <laughs> we are looking for one no. woman that we can. <laughs> no. We can't. If we could pay someone to, but we can't be like, everyone now give us criticism. No, I know. I'm this kidding. Is... I'm, I'm totally kidding. Um, <laughs> but maybe I will be more vulnerable. Yeah, if you want to be. You're fairly vulnerable, I would say. I'm not. You're not. Not at all. I mean, the clips are a different way to consume the podcast. I want to be vulnerable. Here all we right, go. cut a clip. Do it. see if you can get a little vulnerable clip as in right now. As a man who's slightly, uh, as a, a, as a man that struggles, a man that needs to show himself to the world, I will now tell you one burden that I carry. Okay. Clipping my toenails as a plus size model. Okay. <laughs> as a plus size man, clipping your toenails might be a difficult task that you don't can imagine how it is. Interesting. And you think you think. It's not a fun activity to begin with. No. But you must do it. Yes. Right to right is fine. But then the crossover from the left to the right is where the trouble begins. Okay. You've thought about using the left hand? I did. Interesting. Foot on the toilet bowl. Where do you clip, you your, to- where do you clip your toenails? In the bathroom? Yeah, in the bathroom, right? Yeah. If you don't clip them in the bathroom, you're just, you have no self-respect for your, for your own living situation. Yeah. I literally pick the toilet seat up. I wipe the toilet part down. I put my foot on the toilet seat and clip them right into the bowl. I, is that good? I don't, I, no, no one ever. Had, we don't have lessons on how to do this. Uh, I mean, yeah, I would do it in the bathroom, probably over the sink. No, over the garbage. Over the garbage. When I was a kid. And what about now? Probably more so over the the ba- the toilet. Yeah, I probably mix it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Toilet or garbage. Maybe I, I do. I do the fingers over the sink. So I was doing. I was just on the top. I was doing my left. This okay. is vulnerable, mom. This is what you wanted. I was doing the left, and I said I'm going to use the left hand today because let's let's uh, explore some versatility. Okay. My toenail clipper dropped in the toilet bowl. Threw it out. Nice. This is gross. <laughs> I don't think you're I was like, be more vulnerable, Sebastian. Talk about clipping your toenails. 
<laughs> so, is that vulnerable? You know or is that just like some things we don't, we, we could talk about wiping our ass. I mean, this is things that are just. <laughs> I guess vulnerability yeah. is some people, I, I don't know. Some people are vulnerable, but that's where they're comfortable. Oh, yeah. I, I suppose that's then it's not vulnerable. I would say most comedians today, number one, vulnerable, number two, annoying, number three, comedy. In the order of? Of what they prioritize. Interesting. Annoying. How can I annoy? Or is it annoying to you? Annoying to me. Okay, yeah, yeah. Annoying to me. On their list, number one, I should be vulnerable because that's relatable. Number two, how can I annoy the shit out of Sebastian Canelli? It's easy. (laughs) Number three, (laughs) let me make some people laugh. Number three, I think it's make people laugh. But I would say number one is vulnerable. Start from a vulnerable place. Yes. Which I believe in. I think inherently vulnerable, or the audience perceives as inherently vulnerable. What's something you feel vulnerable about, Robbie? What's something? My leg hair, I feel bad about. I, I mean, wish I had I leg a situation. hair. People, everybody has their own situations. I used to feel vulnerable about my teeth. I had like gaps in my teeth. Now I don't, which is nice, I guess. Okay, so this is something that you're proud of now. So speak on something else. That I'm vulnerable? I used to feel vulnerable in gym class. That's, what do you feel vul- right now? Obviously, I'm vulnerable about my size, but I, w- I let's go on beyond that. I think I'm vulnerable about my leg hair. You're vulnerable about your leg hair. I don't like. I wish I had more leg hair. Interesting. You want more? <laughs> I want more. You want to be hair. a hairier man? Yeah, I think as a big man, you receive more love if you have hair. Um. Okay. Because there's a bear, right? It's yeah. a big hairy man, a bear. People love that. Even on dating apps, they're like, I'm looking for a big man with the beard. Interesting. I got one baby. You got one baby? I got oh, one. one out of the two. I got one. Big man with a beard. I can't do a beard. Yeah, me neither. I just wish I could grow hair a little better. I guess my standing in the world. I'm like, what? Well, I got to figure out what I'm doing. That was the thing I was always the most vulnerable about. I was like insecure about what I did for a living or like. Even when you were in Chase Manhattan. Yeah, m- more then than ever. Because what would like, you say? Well, because I, was I wasn't in, like, one of those hot sh- – I was, like – I went to work and just did nonsense. I was, like, pushed – like, it was middle management of, like, a back office in Brooklyn. It was – or uh-huh. I guess technically a middle office. But it was, like – I was so removed from anything that anyone would care about. And yeah. I was spending so much of my life doing it. So I was, like, is this who I am? Like, I don't – your identity becomes your job. So I was, like, trying to not have that. And I think that's when I felt the most – since quitting – I've been like happier, Uh, but now it's like I have to figure out how to make a living. Like I don't. Now you need to make more. Yeah, just like what are you gonna do? Yeah, I gotta get. I gotta figure out how to. Yeah. Do you think like survive? Do you think my mother's notes is working for the pod? Uh, (laughs) Do you think so far? My I mean, these are clips. You can't make a clip about that kind of stuff. I mean, people I'm sure like to hear that uh, sometimes, for sure. Do you think my mother's? We've had vulnerable episodes. I think so. We have an episode called Therapy Day. Oh, really? Yeah, that you... Do you remember... You don't remember all titles of episodes. No, I don't remember <laughs> shit. I tell you, I come in here, I black out, I leave... I, I, yeah. I go, ah. Oh. He goes, good. I go, all right, cool, cool, cool. Anyways, cool. it's the, we're recording this 4th of July weekend. All right, we tried the vulnerable stuff. Let's get yeah, back to the real we, squad. We're recording this 4th of July weekend. It's 4th of also, July weekend. Also, if you know how to grow leg hair, hit me up. Yeah. Okay, 646. Um, uh, 646. No, wow. Oh, oh, <laughs> dropping the first, first hey, three. Hey, what can I say? The go rest, from there. If you're guessing the other seven, here's if you know 646... Text every number. I know how to grow leg hair after that. I'm on board. If you yes. find me, you win. Yeah. Go ahead. No, I'm just saying it's the 4th of July weekend. We're, it's 4th we're, of we're, July coming, weekend. we're not re- recording this on the 4th of July, uh, but it will come out. We've, this is the middle of the weekend. This is this the middle is what of the we're weekend, doing, baby. It's 90 degrees outside. This is what we're, we're doing. Coming <laughs> through for the pod, baby. We're coming through for the pod. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm working on the weekend like usual. Of course. Me and Drake. 100%. Well, yeah, it's Fourth of July weekend, which is, which is fun. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, it's nice. If I mean, you do anytime it you're right. off in the summer, it's fun. My parents have a pool, so that makes my life a lot better. That's nice. Yeah, yeah it yeah. literally makes my life better. Yeah, we went to the shore for a night. I was thinking, what? I don't think I ever want to eat an ice pop for the rest of my life. Why? I don't like them. Interesting. I like ice pops. I think I'm over I grew fucking up, ice pops. I grew up liking ice pops. Probably have one every day of the summer. You had an ice pop every day? Yeah, like the fruit ones. 
the grape fruit ones. Why not just make a drink with ice in it? I guess that's what I like. A I like a flavorful drink. Okay, a cold flavorful drink. Of course. Yeah, hey, I don't know. I used to like ice pops. I like a cold. I think if I'm gonna do something that I'm sucking on, I wanna. I I'd rather do a fudge or I'd rather do an ice cream kind of situation. Okay, you're over ice pops. I'm over ice pops. Yeah, I don't know. Because I was thinking, I go. I wonder if I'll eat a rocket tomorrow. Okay. And then I thought I'm in the shower. Then in case you wonder what I think in the shower. I, I, I mean, really I don't ever need to. Shower. I don't ever need to eat like one of those shitty SpongeBob ice pops with the gumball eyes, like that kind of stuff. But I'm not ruling it the, out that I'll never eat it again. The more that you love the character, the worse that they could concentrate on flavor of those ice creams. Uh, they all taste. They all have the same flavor, which is they is were gumball disgusting. coating. It's, it tastes like the coating of a gumball. They That's were the like flavor. the character's gonna rot. The character will help us rot. Oh yeah. The SpongeBob ice pops were the equivalent of literally an actor and actress who has rich parents. Okay. It's like we don't really need to work on the craft. We got we have oh, we'll it's just the likeness. I'll yeah. use the name and likeness. We'll just use oh. the name and likeness. We don't okay, really need to worry are, about. Yes, just lean yes. on that last name. Yes. Yeah. Oh, the the ice cream men in Staten Island were amazing people. Okay. Cuz they would sell drugs. They would sell drugs. And they would also sell ice cream. Interesting. So they would go around the neighborhood selling drugs to the older kids and selling ice cream to the younger kids. Who did they all kick up to? Was it organized? I mean, also I feel like if I knew the answer, I wouldn't want to say, but how yeah, would I know yeah, the yeah. answer? <laughs> I feel like we also no got another what? note, which was no mafia talk. <laughs> oh, we got the other note. No mafia talk. <laughs> Not with the mafia Don't talk. piss off the mob. Don't piss off. My parents are like, it's Sebastian, yeah. I, you have fun. It's good. It's good. Enough with the fucking mafia talk, yeah. okay? It, it's not real. Okay. My dad would go, it's not real. It's yeah, not real. Yeah. What are you talking? It's fake. It's I mean, fake. yeah, so is this podcast. Everything we Everything talk about we is, fake. is fake. Interesting that there was a, a seemingly organized drug dealing. No. It was insane. With the ice cream man. So I remember as I got older, I bought pills from an ice cream man. Okay. Did I buy ice cream as well? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now that I don't do drugs, I'm just back to the ice cream man. You're back to the ice cream man. I think he'll be in my life forever. And when I get so older and I have knee pain, you're, you're I'm going to go back to the, the dr drugs. drug man. <laughs> He's there for me. When That's you're it. Down. Two big, two of the top 20 things that he sells. Oh, amazing. On a high level. High level. Most people don't do that. This was the original. He's like a Kanye West. The Kanye original West mastered music. He mastered merchant. He mastered yep, clothing. Exactly. He mastered a visual. I mean, Kanye's probably had like four or five lanes, but these ice cream men are at least in two. Bro, the Big Staten Island lanes. ice cream men were in two lanes. That's interesting. They were literally the original KFC Taco Bell. Uh, I'm at the Pizza Hut. I'm, I'm at, at the, the ice Taco cream Bell. truck. You know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was literally yeah, yeah, yeah. the original collab was drugs and ice cream. Drugs and ice cream. Drugs and ice cream. Sometimes he would sell weed and he'd be like, eh, do you want ice cream? Nah. And he goes, I'll see you in a half hour. The kid had swagger. The guy, the ice cream man. And he took the tone to the ice cream song and slowed it down. Like, interesting. Almost like a horror movie. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Hey, your ice cream man's Pop the Weasel. Pop the Weasel. Interesting. What's the entertainer? How does that song go? I am the entertainer. No, the song. Oh, the piano. Just... How's it go on the piano? That was the My Ice Cream Band song. Uh, I feel like. I think that was. Remember in my neighborhood, they used to do this thing where they used to drive carnival rides up to your door. Did that ever happen in your neighborhood? No. It was so wild. They would wild drive carnival. Shit. We also had a carnival. It's probably going on right now. They literally used to drive, you know, the the sway, the pirate ship. Yes. They used to drive it to my cul-de-sac. And you could just pay to get on a, a truck that had the ride on it. Oh, wow. And no. then they would just drive away. Damn. And I'd be like, I don't know if that happened anywhere else in America. I, bro, it was literally people would go to the carnival set now and steal the pirate ship, throw it on a truck, and then they're like, fuck, what are we going to do with this? That's wild. And then they had a small business. That's wild. It was insane.
We're going to have to make that a clip and ask people because I would need to know if anywhere else it in the world ex- did that. <laughs> it couldn't just traveling be Traveling carnival rides. It was a traveling carnival And it would come to ride. your cul-de-sac. Come to my cul-de-sac. And you could pay like $2. It was like the Ice Cream Man. It was the Same Ice Cream exact Man premise. for thrills and chills. Yeah. The Ice Cream Man so- served chills. And the, these card people, man, the Carnival Man sold thrills. I wonder if they were all connected. They had to have been. Yeah, I, I, my mom would say, no, you're not. I would never. I never went on. I, I don't was blame never mom allowed on. I don't blame. I don't blame. For not letting me go on a roller coaster on the back of a truck? Yeah. That's a tough sell. Tommy fell off the back of the truck. Yeah. <laughs> It's, different. it's weird. I mean, yeah. When you have little kids, I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to be like, yeah, go on the back of this thing. Yeah. I can imagine. I get it. Yeah. I mean, you've never even heard of this shit. No. I don't trust carnivals. Yeah, yeah. These things were just loose on the Staten Island Expressway, getting pulled over for speeding. Damn, that's wild. It was... No, we wouldn't have any of that. It's only half... We had the ice cream, man. I mean, we would play outside so much. Yeah. Did you ever buy stink bombs from the ice cream, man? No. You ever smell a stink bomb? Uh, I must have. So when I was a kid... It's like rotten eggs, right? Literally. Or are they, they just, is that just the smell that people say? I've never even smelled rotten eggs. Yeah. You've never smelled rotten eggs? No. All right. We'll do an experiment. No, I don't need to do an experiment. <laughs> um... They used to have this thing when I was a kid. Okay. You could always tell which kid handed the homework in late. Okay. Because he wouldn't get ice cream at the ice cream truck. Okay. He would get those little things, the little like balls that you threw on the ground that sparked. Yeah, we had we would get those. And you throw them at kids' feet and they go. Yeah, ah! I hate that. Yeah, it was just literally like what mini war. Called? I don't know. Little firecracker. They're not firecrackers, but you would just. Throw them really hard at the ground, and they would explode. It was just little, make a loud noise. It was like little gunpowder. They were yeah, just yeah, selling yeah, out yeah, the yeah, ice cream yeah, truck. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was yeah, yeah. drugs, ice cream, and gunpowder <laughs> in Staten Island that they sold. Yeah, yeah. And we, the kid, there was one skinny ass douchebag kid okay. that would always grab that and he would throw it at your legs. I hate that. And you know, he was the kid whose mom had the fake tits. <laughs> Okay. You know, he had other struggles. So what he would do? He buy that's, stink bomb. He goes, that's how he would combat his mom's fake tits. Just wait, are these the stink, the gunpowder you're calling the stink bombs? No. Then there was also the stink okay, bombs. Okay, okay. Where you'd squeeze it and throw it, and you'd have, it was basically like a fucking flashbang for boop. And you'd uh, have like 10 seconds to get away from the stink bomb. Interesting. One time I got stink bombed before fucking junior high. In, in the morning? In the morning. First thing in the morning. And you you smell then for the rest of the day? The rest of the day. It doesn't you just s- go away. It gets into your clothes and shit. It's just like a, a f- it's like perfume. It's like how long a cologne takes to uh, wear off. Wow, that's miserable. What'd you do? You go home? Did I go home? Yeah. No. I guess you can't go home without ratting on the kid. You can't go home. And everyone goes, you smell like ass. Okay. And the teacher goes, the teacher asking. called me up. The teacher goes, what's the matter? You smell. Are you okay? I go, I'm fine. You didn't say that you guys think bombed. Couldn't say. Oh, because you didn't want to get, I didn't you didn't want to be a trouble. rat. Stink bombs were not allowed in my school. No rats. There were three things that weren't allowed in my school. Okay. Okay? What were they? Guns. Okay. Rats. (laughs) Guns, stink bombs. What was that? We're talking about rats. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do that. What was this? For the people listening, there's a little rat. Go see Rat Scraps every Sunday, 730. And what's happening with we this finger over the here? Rat scrap, we have the Rat Scraps uh, mascot, one of, <laughs> live in the studio. <laughs> and we were talking about Sebastian potentially ratting someone out. So I brought the little rat onto my finger to join the combo. <laughs> go so stream it. $8 a stream, 730 every Sunday. Go see Rat Scraps. Incredible show. Oh my god. Anyway, so guns weren't allowed. Stink guns. bombs. Stink bombs and Pokemon cards. Pokemon cards. Pokemon cards were, were not banned. Allowed. Banned. Because it was the hustle. Interesting. Oh, kids were trying to hustle. scheme and steal and Stays. parents. We we felt parents like would. fucking Rick Ross when we had Pokemon cards. Interesting. Every that makes day sense. I'm hustling. Bro, kids would have fake fucking Charizard cards. People They'd were, sell it yeah, to you. kids were crazy. Bro, it was wild. Also, everyone would talk about their Pokemon cards that they had at home. 
Like it was like, oh, but I can't know. bring. You got to come over to my it. house. You got to bring this. You never went to the kid's house. No, because he didn't have it. No. Oh, it's in the attic. But I, I was kind of naive, and I would believe kids. Nah, bro. Kids were wild. Kids would show you a fucking Charizard hologram card that was in real. my school, and then fucking sell you a fake one. At nine, ten years old, they ha- parents. Stay the scheming. parents have to be involved in that. A hundred percent. The parents, that's how crazy Staten Island is. I'm on disability, is. but my son's hustling in the school. That's how crazy Staten Island is. I mean, we all know. Because the parents got to buy the fake Charizards. The kid's not getting the fake Charizards at 10 years old by himself. Fake Charizards. My, I was told never buy cars from other kids. Never trade cards. Kids were fucking hustling fake Pokemon cards. I mean, cards. that's the whole it's trading card game. Bro, and the fakes Tra- were the name so bad. Uh, kids would get duped. You knew. Yeah. Fuchi you, Kaluchis, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like yeah, the fucking yeah. garbage we were talking. Uh, okay. It was why. I mean, we all know when I couldn't make friends in junior high, how my mom helped me. Gucci earring? She bought me a bunch of Louis Vuitton fake earrings so I could oh, sell Louis to people. Louis Vuitton, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is how I, I ended up fitting this is in the in Staten social Island. currency on Staten Island. The social currency is fucking bootleg products that you sell to pretend they're real. They have that New York hustle in them, but a lot of people aren't the brightest on Staten Island. Bro, so it's like you got the New York hustle, like, oh, yeah, they know about how to hustle. Like, not everybody is the mob boss. Like, in, there's any, in only any speaking, one mob yeah. boss for the whole fucking and pyramid scheme. And he makes scheme. the decisions for everybody. And these other people just know somebody, and they're like, I could do. There's a reason why you don't. It's a, a lot, lot of work. It takes a lot. Yeah, and also, like, there's people that are smart. Like, not anybody could do it. No. Tony Soprano doesn't get enough credit. <laughs> what do you think Tony Soprano's SAT scores would have been? I mean, fine. Low. Middle of the road. Middle uh, of the road. That depends on how much he he cared about it. If he put effort in. If Tony Soprano took a Kaplan course for and then took the SAT. Yeah, six yeah. and if he was later. like he was like, this is the only way that I six could Six months whatever. later. You think he could get a thirteen hundred out of sixteen hundred? Thirteen hundred. Yeah, that's about what I got. Thirteen out of sixteen. Yeah, yeah. You got a little lower than that. I think you got a little higher. I think you got a little lower. Interesting. What'd you get? I mean, I got a 710 in math. And then I think I got a 630 in the writing. Yeah, it is what it is. Who knows? And they call five. I think I got a five. I got a 590 in one of them and a 630 in the other one. But I don't know which one of those I choose. You choose the, the not the writing. So then I got a 1300. <laughs> Even. But come on, give it a go. The writing aspects, I think they morphed them back together. Because it would be like, uh, well, you'd have to correct the sentences and shit in the writing. Interesting. So I got a, I got a thir- I think Tony Soprano could get above 1,300. You think so? I think he could beat me, yeah. Yeah. So. Maybe you'll get 1,300 even, actually. 1,300 even. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and Tony are the same. <laughs> we, had the same. we had the same mind. <laughs> no, not at all. But it was literally... It, when I was younger, it was, the, it was fucking stink. It was like people would like, those were the things that weren't allowed in schools. Yeah. It was wild. Yeah. Kids would be on Nextels chirping each other about Pokemon cards to sell. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of the, the yeah, going back to what we were talking about, the Brooklyn moving to Staten Island. And it was just like the people who didn't need to be there anymore, but that was kind of the culture. Have you ever set a and firework? They were, have you ever set a firework off? No. Nah. I've never no, done that either. No interest. What You're, do you think it feels like? I was afraid of fireworks as a child until I was a preteen. Like a dog. Yeah, like a dog. My parents, one time we were in Disney World <laughs> and they lied to me and we sat. I'll never forget this for the rest of my life. We sat in the restaurant in Italy in Epcot. And thank you. You need if you're talking about Epcot, you need to clarify that you're not in that country. Oh, 100 percent. I know, of course I'm going to clarify because I'm going to... It's a, a You Disney. held it too long! I held it too long. There was four commas in that sentence. No. I said in Italy, in Epcot. You said in Italy, beat, beat, beat. In Epcot. Epcot. All right, we'll look at the tape. We'll see we'll how look long... At the tape. We'll look and see how long I took. <laughs> I don't care. You need to clarify. Of course. There's too many trash people out here talking that I went no, to No, nobody's going... Nobody's, nobody's claiming to have gone... I mean, unless given the context of they're a Disney head, but I don't think anyone is claiming to be like, oh, I was in Italy last week and they were in Epcot. A thousand percent. You think people are doing that? A thousand percent. 
A thousand percent. No way. People take planes with t- people take pictures, influencers with mini cars far behind them, so the proportions look like they have a cool car. What? They'll like that's... put. Like, they'll stand far behind a small car. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They'll yeah. stand far behind. Like... So, a Hot Wheels car doesn't get bigger the further away <laughs> it is from the camera. <laughs> They'd be like, Damn, "What? That's such a tiny." What were those things? Ass? Remember that shit that you would get and you put it in water and it would just grow. You could like grow a car, and it would be like a tiny car, and then you'd put it in water like and it would a sponge grow. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember uh, yeah, those yeah, old yeah, things? So, yeah. People would be like, "I'm growing." Yeah, like not so that. Influencers will literally pretend they're in private jets. Oh, I've seen that. So I've seen there's like talking? there's like sets of private jets. What are you we could talking? go we could go into a photo shoot in a stationary set that is just looks like it's inside of a private jet. You know what? There's also a thing. What? That you could go to Vegas and you could pay to join the Mile High Club. Interesting. You go inside and you you arrange it to fuck in the air. Interesting. Dope. <laughs> I need to know who's piloting this plane. What sort of pervert for a living pilots the mile yeah. high plane? Yeah. Yeah, they're like pimps of the sky. Pimps of the sky. <laughs> it's wild. There must be a device. That's a wild. That's it. Hey, but it's a business model. That's like that's like that tangential hustle. Yeah. That's a little bit more direct than the uh, I guess the ice cream and cuz it's like yeah, prostitution generally a ma or organized crime thing. And it's like, all right, we'll take that and we'll add a little spice. It's to a it. couples that go up. Oh, it's couples. Yes, you. Oh, go with it's a... not. I thought it was like you. No, oh, no, no. You oh. go with a couple. Because I know it's le- like sex work is legal. legal. Yeah, yeah. In uh, Las Vegas, right? Yeah, yes, yeah. yes. So that's why. Th- oh, that's why I no. thought it was. I no, thought, no, 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 no. I thought that that was the vibe. No, no. Oh, okay. So not as yeah, but so then it's very much that weird hustle of like yeah. that in between space. Interesting. A thousand. Percent. I don't think I need to do that. I don't think I need to do that either. I think part of the rush of you the pay mile for that? high situation would be like, is the bathroom. Yeah, and it's like very it's spontaneous. Yeah, I guess it's spontaneous. You're like living. You're. I would want to do it if it was spontaneous. If I was me like, too. Me and my, like, yeah, like, all right, now we're gonna go. Like, 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 like the tension is so. It's very the planned. sexual tension is so. It's so crazy. You cannot that wait you to cannot get off wait. in Tulsa. That's what, yeah, exactly. Tulsa that can't would wait. Be, that's what's hot about it to me. Yes. It's like we need to is... fuck in the air because no, of the sexual tension. This is the ultimate Google calendar of fuck. Yeah. The ultimate Google calendar yeah. fuck is these love jets that go in the sky. Interesting. Do you think, do you think there's been a man that's gone on the love plane and yeah, hasn't been able to get hard? Oh. Uh, I was gonna say they get into an argument and they don't end up. Oh yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> imagine, imagine. There's definitely guys that somehow fucked that up. That they oh, are. It is so easy. The they are, they're planning. The it's already planned. They say some some stupid shit. Yeah. And they end up fl- landing without ever fucking. I'm sure that the guy can't get. I'm sure uh, that happens more lots. time than not. Uh, more time than them getting into an argument and not fucking is that he can't get hard. The, yeah, the argument's worse. Yeah. To get in an argument with your girl if they paid for this mile high experience. Yeah. You ever, I mean, there's That's so many, a man that fights demons every day. I know. That's a man with tattoos. So four dumb. Jesus tattoos. Baby Jesus. <laughs> all the ages. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um, To fly, to fucking fly. Nah, I'll never be in the mile high club. Yeah. Wait, what were we talking I'll about? I'll never be that? in the mile high shit. You'll be really? I've never shot on a plane. Oh. That's insane to me. You've never flown six hours then? I have. What's the furthest you've flown? Eight hours. And you didn't shit? No. Nah. Interesting. I shit and right you don't before take I got on. I don't take coffee. Drink coffee? I don't no. Interesting. I drink coffee. I'll just shit before I go on a long flight. I'll do the mature thing. Yeah, yeah, of course, if you can. I'll say Arguably, I would say the bathroom on the plane might be cleaner than the bathroom in the airport. It's not about cleanliness. Okay. What it's is about it? functionality. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> to fuck that up, you have to be a real loser. Yeah, 100%. You have to be a real loser. 
and the awkwardness when they go, welcome back, monsieur, monsieur, right? Yeah. They, they go, oh, the two lovebirds have returned. What, is it in a helicopter or in a plane? In a plane. Interesting. Oh, you have returned. Welcome back. How was the flight? Leave us the fuck alone. Yeah. <laughs> it was fine, okay? And just cool. stop, stop, stop. You think it's a Frenchman? I would hope so. If I if I'm paying for the Maha Club, I hope the man, the maitre d. I want it to be a whole French, a a, a a more experience. Okay. So you think people say that they've gone to Italy or France, and just go to Epcot? Yes, one hundred percent. A hundred percent. Well, any. So my original story that I was saying, uh, the fireworks situation. Oh yes, 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 yes. I'm in Epcot in Italy. <laughs> I'm in the Italian part of Epcot and we're out uh, eating dinner and my parents go, oh, there's going to be this big storm happening in 20 minutes. There's a big storm because we would always leave the parks early because I was afraid of the fireworks. Jesus and they're Christ. like, there's going to be a big storm. <laughs> and I'm gullible. I was a gullible, naive kid. And the fireworks show starts. And they, they must have told the waiters, too, to just go along with it. And there's it's loud. It's, like, mad loud. And there's just, like, whatever. And I'm like, wow, that thunder really is crazy. And it's, like, a fireworks show. So the whole place is kind of, like, shaking and whatever. Oh, and my I'm God. believing that it's a fire or uh, whatever. I'm believing that it's uh, a thunderstorm. And I'm fine. I'm completely fine because I'm like, wow, that is really loud thunder. And then they eventually, my dad was like, He's just like, I was just like, what is my son? like? I think it, by the end of it, they were like, yeah, of course that was the fireworks, and I didn't even think that it was the fireworks. Jesus Christ! But then from then on, I kind of got over it. I think that was like a good thing for me to experience because I was a little embarrassed. But then I was also like, oh, that wasn't even that bad. Like, why am I so? I guess I was afraid at a young age, and I was just like, I never want to be around that again. Uh, but they had to lie to me. I cannot. Do you think they went in that day and gone, we're gonna do the storm? Today, <laughs> they must have because we had the reservations. At, it was like I you had we'll to make just, reservations yeah. at, and they probably wanted to go to the nice restaurant in Italy. Like that was something they wanted to Epcot. do in Epcot. Yes, it, in Epcot. The whole story takes place in Epcot. Setting. Uh, but yeah, that was I was afraid of fireworks, so I've never set one off or come close to one. Neither have I. Yeah, my mother was. She was very overbearing as a child. I, I mean, I, I get child, it. It's, sh I was never even near them. I mean, it goes back to the un, like the jackass type of like the unnecessary risk. Like to me, the risk reward isn't there. The guy oh. from the Giants <laughs> blew off his hand. He's a professional football player. He blew off his hand? Setting off fireworks. I mean, yeah. my I grandfather mean, lost his, his finger. Yeah, a few fingers. I don't know if he blew off the whole Really? Yeah, but he wears a he has like a club that he wear that he wears now. I think he's got two fingers left. Man, yeah, my grandpa lost his ring finger. Interesting. Setting off fireworks. Yeah. My grandpa also doesn't have a ring finger. That's why, that's mad weird. Really? He fell out of a tree and his ring finger has been like, they were going to cut it off, but they were just like, we could either cut it off or it's permanently bent. So my grandfather's ring finger He's just is, always walking around doing the shotgun? He can't ever, yeah. He can't ever, yeah. They probably now, need to cut now it Now your grandpa, I think <laughs> the movie Bad Grandpa is based on your grandpa. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's a funny guy. I'll do uh, two yeah. pinoli nut cookies. Yeah, that's it. His... <laughs> His his finger is permanently yeah they were gonna cut it off and he was like Damn. I would rather just keep it and it'll be like that forever. Nah, I did one time I held a Roman candle the things that you shoot little balls. Okay. In the air, I fucking hated it. Yeah. No, it's I not. I don't need any of me. that. No. I also, I'll watch somebody. Th these people I know used to do this big party and uh yeah you know. do a whole fucking show that the whole town would come see but like I don't. I would it's watch not it. romantic. Oh, yeah. I guess it's romantic in the same sense. I guess a fireworks what like is a horror movie that meets a garden because it's a little scary but beautiful at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not romantic. I would say it's. I that. hate I mean, when people uh, the, watching the fireworks and people are coupling off to I hug mean, each I get other. That. Why do you get That's that? Anything. Because anytime that you're watching, but anytime like a, you're, if you're looking at the ocean, people will. It, no, but it's a cliche thing of like, uh, this is a romantic moment. Like people have fireworks at their yeah, wedding. Yeah, it's built on in romance, I suppose. Yes, it's at the end of a movie. It's after like the they Christmas get married, tree. they go. It's like the Rockefeller <sighs> Center Christmas tree, I would say. 
that people think that's romantic. What do you do whenever they, they couple... make out in front of it? It's like, all right, yeah, it's there's a mad people around, so it's one of the most crowded things. What do you do when people are like coupling off like that? I don't know, right? No, nah, I like in a wedding. I go to the bar, but like for that. But yeah, you're standing. Also, around. the New York City. I'll say this actually, the New York City fireworks are not romantic at all. No, no, not I've even, been on, I've been on rooftops. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but what if you're I with spend. the mass, then it's like I feel like there's more people that understand that. It's like, all right, we got to get it to kids. Get the fam- it's like more like we got to get a lot of people. So fucking awesome. Yeah. When the fireworks go off, people just stop on the FDR and go, fuck it. We're watching the fireworks. And the kids yeah. will go sit on, the, uh, on top of the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll just be like one lane is just yeah. shut. Yeah. It's like, oh, we're driving all oh, the fireworks. Hey, everyone park. Yeah. Everyone just parks on the fucking highway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is true. Like, hey, go fuck yourself. I'm enjoying this beautiful moment, you scumbag. Yes. Me and my family can't park on the fucking highway? Yeah. Are you kidding me? This kid, this motherfucker, I can't bring my family to the middle. I can't take my family on the fucking FDR drive, yeah. park in traffic, and put them all on top of my car? Yeah. How dare you tell me I can't park on the highway to look at fireworks? Yeah. I love that man. Yeah, hundred percent. He's a man providing for his family. Uh, yeah, that's a well, man. I think that's a lot of the vibe of New York. It's like, oh, we're just gonna get the fa- the people are gonna go to see it. Go, come on, come it's on, come on. We're doing yeah, it. That's the energy. More All so, right, we're in leave. Jersey. I do feel like it is a little like, oh, let's go. Yeah, yeah there are people. That's like their identity for a month. Is what fireworks? these couples? Yeah, yeah. Because they'll be like, all the towns or all the beach towns will have different fireworks. So like, oh. you'll go. For like three weeks, you'll be able to go see fireworks like five nights a week. And people do that. We're going to go see this fireworks, this fireworks, this fireworks. We'll get the blankets. Yeah. We'll get the blankets out. We do a four pack of hard ciders. Yeah. And then we sit on the back. Yes. Right? We sit on the blankets and we wait. We go early to get a good spot. We bring a... Tom doesn't use sunscreen lotion, so I bring an umbrella for him. Okay. I mean, it's a compromise. Okay. (laughs) Right? These are these people. Yeah. We need to get a good spot. Yeah. Before the teenagers, all the teenagers go one spot. They're literally 22 complaining about teenagers already. Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'd rather take the New York vibe any day. Oh, week. absolutely. Well, I have a question. If you were to say three things that make something romantic, what would that be? It has nothing to do with the person? No. The well, set, like a romantic situation. I guess it's I'm going to support fireworks here but beauty beauty the moment the moment like knowing it could only happen in this one second yes that is that's romantic that's knowing like snowfall is romantic because it's can you believe it's happening right now uh, that's like the rain yes. people say kissing in it's the rain it's rain oh, can you believe it this is the moment Okay, so beauty and the moment, the, the moment oh, that makes sense. Yeah, and not eating too many carbs. Before. Okay, <laughs> that's good. I was gonna say not a lot, of people, like alone, I guess, but that doesn't necessarily matter. Actually, nope. You could have a romantic carbs moment. matter more. You could have a romantic moment in the middle of the subway. I've not hooked up al- alone on a vacation because we've had too many carbs. carbs. I've hooked up in a bar bathroom because carbs. there was a lack of carbs in my system. <laughs> So carbs is the one, not meat or cheese. Yeah, we're all different. We're all different. Yeah, we're yeah, yeah. Different. That's where it comes to different. A bowl of With pasta. With a moment, if, and that's that is nice. I'll never eat a bowl of pasta on a date. Okay. If I do, it's not going down. Interesting. I don't. I think I have. I don't want to eat. A lot of these places, though, the pasta dishes are. Hard. A quarter of what you would eat at your parents' house. I know. <laughs> so you might be able to get away with some of the pasta dishes that you see out and about. Especially yeah. if they're not trying to raise prices. It's like, oh, we noticed you didn't raise prices. We do notice that the plate is a lot bit smaller. I hate that. Or do you know what they'll do? Some of these places, they'll have the plate with the, the area that the pasta is in is like a little divot. Yeah. And it's, it's like. It's like almost half the size of the plate. It's and you just surrounded have... by a house <laughs> yeah. of a plate. Why? Yeah, there's so much plate. It looks like a Lady Gaga hat. Yeah. Yes, that, that exactly. Thing. It does look like it's a like Lady Gaga hat. It's like they took Gaga Lady Gaga's hat. huge hat off, <laughs> Put it on... flipped it upside down, and, and there's a tiny... pasta. Why is there so much plate happening with this little pasta? Oh, great point. <laughs> yeah. This is tremendous. Yeah. We're back. <laughs> Mom, this we're is the back. vulnerability. We were talking about romance. 
<laughs> it's quickly, ge- quickly came to pasta sauce. To, yeah. Listen to me. If the fucking plates, if there needs to be more food on the plate than plate on the plate. Yes, yeah. There needs there, to be more is, food on the plate than plate on the yeah, plate. Yes, and it's not happening. And, and especially at an Italian restaurant. Like the whole the French, fucking sure, the, point the French of Italian food do that. is you overeat it. Yeah. It's you overeat it. carbs and sauces. It's not. You're eating cheese, meats, and carbs. Yeah. You fucking overeat it. Yeah. It's not It's not no. quail. Yeah. You don't overeat quail. <laughs> no. Okay? If Nobody's I went to a restaurant, killing enough quails to overeat. If I went to a restaurant and I ordered quail, I'm never complaining about the size. Yeah. If I'm eating pasta, <laughs> yeah. you better fit me a lot. Catch you a pepe. It's just butter sauce and it's fucking nothing. black pepper. It's nothing. Yeah. What? And it'll be... And the whole plate will be Or massive. they put these huge so runner like plates underneath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll do like three plates uh, to stack a tiny one. I know. They're like Russian nesting dolls I know, for, for fucking pasta. I know. It's wild. And they go, do you want cheese? I go, I'm going to fucking need it with the slides that you gave me. Yes, yes. I go, leave the block. I'm hungry. Yeah. That kind of pasta, I feel like you have. But the pasta I grew up eating, no, you're not. No. Definitely not. <laughs> That's bad funny. I get furious at that shit. Okay. I like a portion. Yeah. Also, it's, yeah, uh, absolutely. That's just what it is. What's less? Yeah, I know. That's all, yeah. Most penne vodka I've eaten in my life has been endless. This is why I, I could I, eat I more. I could, like, to, or I would never order it out at one of those spots. Like, then you got to do their little. Secondes. You got to do their little thing. Yeah, you got to play their game. I have never ordered shrimp cocktail out and about. Okay. Because I don't want to complain about getting three shrimp on ice. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. I'm playing. That I mean, some we're foods boys. that it doesn't even matter. It, yeah, it's not even the fact. Like, I might only want three, but just knowing there's some foods that you got to know that you can have as much as you want. That it's yes. on you to, to decide whether or not you're going to eat as much of this. I grew up going to Lobster Fest. Okay. Going to Shrimp Week okay. at Red Lobster. Uh, yeah, I didn't grow up. There's I was in a Red Lobster no kid. chance I could be a billionaire that I'm going to feel comfortable eating three shrimp for $30. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. There's no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No matter what, my name could be Sebastian Musk, and I'm married to him. Yes. That's a, this is a scenario Eat. that could happen. It could. Yeah. And you would not be if eating three. Elon- Elon Musk has come out saying that he believes in multiple universes, correct? Okay. He has come out and said he believes in that we that uh, we could be living in there is multiple timelines that uh, every, every choice, something different happens. So there's multiple versions of us living. Okay. So that means there is a timeline where I am married to Elon Musk. We are out to dinner at a steakhouse. He goes, do you want shrimp cocktail? I go, no, because I grew up at Red Lobster where they gave us endless fucking lobster. Yes. Yeah, there's some foods also that there's no way that they're that expensive. What are you painting on? Like, if the the butter, like, we know what the ingredient, like, there. If I went and they sin. said this horse won the Kentucky Derby, I go, the price is right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yes. I mean, I don't need horse. Yes. I just, that's the most famous animal. I guess babe. They go, oh, yeah. Oh, you're about to, oh, welcome, monsieur. You're about to eat the, the bacon from the, from the babe pig. I would go, all right, it's expensive, but we're living. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yes. Then I think the price is right. Interesting. I'm surprised they don't, when those animals die, I'm so, did you almost throw up when I was about to say No, this? no, no, no. When those animals die, we live in such a fucking commercialized economic country. I'm surprised they don't sell the food of famous animals. Oh, yeah. I'm actually or surprised, I'm surprised that's not a thing. That's how fucked our country is. Yeah. And they saved the food. Hey, we're eating this from this fucking, you know? Or somebody hasn't just claimed it. You. Some sort of billionaire. I got, billionaire. Yeah, or just somebody in, no, not even. Just some guy in the Poconos. I, I got babe. I got 30 pieces of bacon of babe's pig. It's $150. It's on the menu. Piece of babe. Or piece of babe. And it's or not even, even real, though. He just made it's just a marketing gimmick. It's $150. Or, and he, everybody just tells everybody in the town. You, do, you put out some PR, babe. and you got it's a limited. There's only 150 pieces that he got access to. And 
I'll sell 150 pieces of babe. Even if it's like, yes, yeah, it's the lineage of babe. <laughs> yeah. You're eating babe's children then. It, yes. the, it could go on forever. It's, it could go. It's literally wild. the opposite of veganism. Yes. Because people hate vegan people so much, right? Yeah. And I don't think we should. No, definitely I not. I think we should just find them annoying. Yeah. <laughs> But we don't. A lot of people are annoying about the things that they. A hundred percent. Anything that you spend that much time identifying with, I get you're it. Gonna, you might be annoying about. Definitely. And all, yeah, Which I don't. Kind of nice. I'm so fucked in the head with food. Like I don't judge anyone. Yeah, I yeah, joke. Yeah, I'm yeah, like yeah, so yeah. fucked in the head, right? But I'm surprised there's not like people like completely on the opposite. Like, like they're meant to kill. We eat the famous ones. Yeah, that's wild. Hopefully, I, I don't know. Maybe it's gonna happen in Hollywood. What, eating celebrities? Eating celebrity animals is going to happen. Interesting. It has to. I'm sure. But what, a lot of the animals, by design, I think that end up getting major roles in that are actual physical animals are generally not ones that are, are getting eaten. Besides a pig. Babe the pig. Besides a pig, right? Like air, but mostly it's dogs, horses. Yeah, you're not eating dogs or horses. It's a lot of dogs and horses. Chickens. Maybe cats. Yeah, but you're not getting a movie about a chicken. Like CGI or chicken. You're right. But I think that's on purpose. They don't want... They don't want to associate yeah. those two things. Yeah. Interesting. You get Stuart Little before you get I'm going to pitch this. The, would, if I ever had, get go to Miramax, what, what's a big movie company? Miramax would be... <laughs> Harvey Weinstein's company. Yeah, that's, oh my God. that's a big. I mean, it's no, a big no, film no, distribution no, no, company. Right? I mean, it is a big film distribution company. I think he's, well, he's out. Not in charge anymore. No, 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 no. no I was just... He also had left to make the Weinstein oh, company, cool. I believe. So I go to a big company. Yeah. And I go, and here's my movie idea. And yeah. by the way, there's gonna be a bunch of chickens in the movie, and then I'm gonna open a restaurant. Okay. Where we're all gonna eat the eggs of these chickens. Okay. Where we charge. You'll You're get a cut. already going to the merchandise. I'm going straight. I think people, like, they go, oh, let's it's make these merchandise about... for toys. No. I want to make a movie where we're merchandising the animal goods. We're already thinking about the tangential restaurants. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. yeah it's, about, it, 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 it's about two city folk. They go to the city. They got to they gotta learn how to raise their great uncle's farm. Okay. And then they get there and all the animals are talking. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And then you sell those chicken eggs. And then I sell the eggs. And you compete with like a Waffle House all over America. Compete with the Waffle House. Or like this a is I'm IHOP? competing with Mama Fuku. Oh, that's the kind. This is fine dining. You're trying to go fine dining eggs. So you're doing what we we're talking against. If you can't beat them, join them. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. I see the biz. Okay. You yeah, it would sell? have to be it, only if the movie gets nominated for an Oscar. This is you know what chicken. I mean. Yes. Otherwise, if it's if, if it's a blue com, if it's like a Chris no, Farley type movie, then no. you got to go that Waffle House route. You're right. If it gets nominated for an Oscar, You're then right. you got to go. Then you can go the Mama Fuku route. I need to make a movie with a cow that wins Best Supporting Actor, yeah. and then sell the cheese and the milk yeah. that this cow makes. Yes, that's what you need. That that for this that to work. is this going to, to get work. me a Michelin star. You want a Michelin star. I want a Nobody's talking about the Megot. Yes, that's what we got. We want a Megot. I want to get a cow, get him an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, a Tony, because of and course we bring it to Broadway. Yes. And then a Michelin star from the fucking milk that, that this shit. So the producing. cow's getting it or you're getting it? The cow's getting it, but you're it stays at my fucking house. It stays at your house. <laughs> it it's was like your cow. music in the it, it's like music in the fifties. Okay. You know? <laughs> okay. Right? This shit is mine. Okay. Oh, he's the star. I'll take the check. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I see what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, no, no, do you? I was talking about you getting a megot, but I, this is even more interesting that the cow, the cow. Well, this is this think, this makes an interesting point. Why aren't animals <laughs> getting getting more <laughs> praise for uh, their work in the food industry in general? If we want to literally. If we want to continue to eat meat and we want to show love to animals, yeah, they should we be should getting be getting awards. awards. We should have an award ceremony for that. At least farms, yeah, these these. Far but then it's it goes back to the person. It's hard to isolate how we how can we award. Even the Westminster Dog Show's fucked. Yeah, it's fucked the way we treat animals. And I don't 
You I mean, I don't mean? have. I'm it. not like a big like. Oh, I see an animal. I want to hug and do the whole thing. But I, I understand that they're, they're not getting treated, treated oh my right. God, I would hate. I to, feel for them. I would hate to date someone that needs to stop and hug every dog. Interesting. It would be cute. Twice. You know, that's not me. That's not me either. I don't have. <laughs> I an keep animal. it moving, baby. <laughs> I don't have an animal because I know I wouldn't be able to provide the love that it deserves. Yes. Yes. Same. Like I know I don't want to be home and have to like walk the dog every. Oh, it's four like a person. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's like a person. Yeah, it's tough. Dogs, they're like a person. The the level of yeah, care I mean they you put all, in? yeah yeah. There's a le- there's a level of if care. you had a person you'd come home if you had a baby what once every four hours right just like a person. Walk them. I don't. You don't have to walk them even that much. I think you walk babies. You walk babies. Yeah, you put them in the stroller. I think you get them sunlight. Yeah. Right. I see moms outside a lot that with makes their sense. babies in the stroller. That makes sense. Get the right. I don't know. Right. Yeah 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 yeah. That makes sense. I, yeah, I see them pushing them. Yeah. It can't be for the moms, right? They must it's gotta be, be taught. A both. It gotta be. A, you think it's a combo? I think it's a combo. Should I stop a mom next time they're walking a baby? Ask them. Be like, hey, why are you walking your baby? Yeah. Why are you walking the baby? Yeah, I'm not taking anybody seriously now. Me God is the new standard. Michelin star, Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony. That's it. Don't don't. Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi could do it. Whoopi could do it. Whoopi's got it in her. Lin Manuel. We'll see. Whoopi's got it in her though. I need Whoopi to find. I need to get into Hollywood. I just need to get into Hollywood the way I fucking learned how to in Staten Island. I'm not just an actor. I'm not just a writer. I'm not just a director. You gotta have two. I'm lanes. a restaurateur. You're a restaurateur. I don't own an ice cream truck and just sell ice cream. I sell drugs too. Yes. I'm not just pitching you a movie. I'm pitching you a restaurant and a theme park. Okay. That's what it has to be. I came from that culture. I came from. It's not going to be great everywhere. Yeah. So we're just going to make a lot of it. Yes. The culture of abundance. Absolutely. Speaking of Whoopi Goldberg, I do have to say it's a shame that your pursuit of show business did not happen at the same time that Hollywood Squares was around. Why? I think you would crush Hollywood Squares. Thank you, Robbie. I love that. I think you would be a phenomenal Hollywood Squares. I never saw the show, but it sounds fun. And yeah, you say I think, that I'd be good at it. I so think I like it's just it. like you have a it's like you're your partner with like a regular part like a random person and you gotta guess something. Or like oh, you like yeah. work with the I think you connect well with regular people. You know why? And that was the big premise. They'd be like, oh, let me get some bash. Like it was like a whole Because I am a regular person. Yeah, exactly. Because I hundred I mean, percent. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but there's people that pursue this and from day one they decide oh my, to that, not, not be yes, that they are they have some kind of air or whatever attitude or Do we they're need- so focused on themselves that they don't there's so many people that are regular people that don't connect with regular people doing the arts in brooklyn is so exciting because every time i meet someone i'm so excited to find out if they literally only have ten dollars to their name or if they're a multimillionaire. yeah it's literally it's the most exciting thing you, yeah. You're not sure. It'll, it'll be a couple of weeks and then you'll find out. Yes. You'll go, oh. Not a couple of weeks. A couple of minutes. You'll And it'll be like, oh, that's where you lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you really struggle because you have a dream. That's. I mean, both are beautiful. Yes. I don't poo-poo anything. If no. my parents were millionaires. No, 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 no. Do you, you could tell how but old I am. But it's more. You, you could tell how old I am. You said millionaire. By the way, I say millionaire. Yeah, who wants to be a millionaire, man? I say, that is the ultimate gender. Uh, the That's the ultimate divide of Gen Z and millennials. Yeah. Millionaire versus millionaire. Yeah. That's that's how you tell. Yeah. Write it on the paper and you'll find out how old they are. <laughs> it's because I say it like the fucking king he did himself, Regis. Yes. Millionaire. I mean, Regis was incredible. <laughs> oh, the goat. There was that, that show was why I would stay up with my mom and watch Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Billionaire. Yeah. yeah. Test them. Who that's how you, that's how you'll find out how yeah. old they are. Don't trust the fucking, don't trust the driver's license. Yeah. Trust the millionaire test. Trust the millionaire? It's a millionaire test. Okay. I don't think I say it how, like, as dramatic as Regis. Who wants to be a millionaire? You you still say millionaire. Why? What do people say? Millionaire. Millionaire. But we go up on the end. Air. Oh. Millionaire. Millionaire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is a good like yeah. divide of Gen Z to millennials. Yes, yeah. I, he had to do that because it was a show. Millionaire. Yeah. We're people would say, "Do you watch Millionaire?" Yeah, because that's what it was. Because it was yeah, people would. Yes, that's why. This a hundred percent show name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. There we go. Test them. 
Test them. Can you do the millionaire test? The millionaire. Yeah. That's how my grandma. My grandma loved millionaire. Of course. Well, we were, yeah. yeah. Everybody not, loved they, it. Were they before not born before 9-11? Fuck that. Yeah, yeah. Were they before born before millionaire? millionaire? <laughs> the post 9-11 babies will start to be able to go to the bar. That's good. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, September well, well, 12th, 2022. This is going to be, it's going to happen this year. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's going to be an interesting day for the world. Yeah, well. Well, they could come to our shows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, they could come to our shows. We have some shows. They could still come to some shows that we have on now. Nice. Uh, we have a lot of shows coming up. Which is very exciting. Drop them. Drop them. July 22nd and yes. April 19th. We're doing New York is Phenomenal in New York City. July 22nd. Yeah, come out. It's going to be a good time. The last show was fun. We're, same we're, thing. We're streaming the show. Streaming the show. So yes, you can also stream the show and get put on the Close Friends for a month. Uh, and that is all at caveat.com. We if we post go out the tonight, we should do a couple Close Friends. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do uh, that. Uh, um, yes, yeah, so July 22nd. August 19th, New York is phenomenal. Please come out to that. August 5th, Philly is phenomenal. It's going to be a fun show. People are hitting us up. They're coming down and, or people that live in the area. We're working on a special guest. Be, yes, it we're might working be on a very big special epic. guest. We it are working on awesome. an epic special guest. I don't, I'm don't. i hoping that the special guest comes through. But, yeah, it's going to be a fun time. It's going to be awesome. So, yeah, I know some bunch of people already coming out. So And we're going to hang out after for sure. Uh, so if you're in the Philly area or you want to take a trip to Philly, you've never been to Philly and you live kind of close, come through, please. Philly is phenomenal. August 5th at Comedy Sports Philly. It's in Rittenhouse Square, which I think is like one of the main areas of Philly. Yeah, it's cool. Um, and then we're going to Rhode Island. Rhode Island is phenomenal. August 12th and 13th. And we have exciting stuff planned for that as well. Yeah. So Rhode Island is phenomenal. We'll be in Providence and we'll be in Pawtucket. So Rhode Island is phenomenal. August 12th and 13th. Philly, August 5th, and then New York, July 22nd, and August 19th. Please, please, please come out to that. And, yeah, stream it. That helps us a lot. Amazing. And then uh, September 20th, Robbie's birthday, him and I will be going to Vegas to fuck on a plate. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. September no, no. 21st. <laughs> oh, my God. We'll cut that. <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh, oh, my God. No, yeah, all those shows sound awesome. Please, all you hotties, please come out. Please keep supporting the pod, uh, supporting the clips and shit like that. All right, Robbie, hit the fucking music. Oh, oh, oh.